Narrative Pro 2.2 is now out on beta on Fab, and Unreal Engine 5.7 is now officially supported as well. We have a free playable demo also released for 2.2. Features plenty of example content to try out, and you can download it completely for free. And I thought in this video, I'd actually take you through, you can see the two-handed sword, I'll show you that as well. I'll take you through that free demo and sort of show you some of the features in it, whether or not you've bought Narrative and you're trying the demo content out in the engine itself, or whether you're just trying the free demo. I thought I'd show you it because we've been working really hard on it. I think it's kind of a cool opportunity to show you some of the content there if you haven't had a look yet. So when you first launch the demo, you will be taken into the main menu here. Uh, we're just showing off some of the new weapon art in the menu. Um, we've spent tens of thousands of dollars having different weapons, animations, and so on configured. And uh, we have a really great weapons artist, JT. You might know him as the guy that did the M1 Garand on uh, Call of Duty World War II. So he's done plenty of AAA stuff before, and um, I think he really did a great job on these weapons. And of course, most people won't use these weapons. They are, after all, the demo content. But I think it's still nice to ship really high quality art even as demo content with the plugin. I'm going to go ahead and click on new game and start a new game. Welcome to the Narrative Pro 2.2 demo. 2.2 is a huge update, especially for those wanting melee weapons, bows, and other medieval styles of combat. So we now cater to those types of games instead of just being more of a modern shooter focused plugin. This demo gives you a good chance to stress test the plugin and make sure you're really happy with the quality before you buy it. You can run over to the weapons area to try out the new melee weapons and the bow. You'll find a bunch of attack dummies you can try the combat out on, as well as buttons for spawning different types of combatants to fight. We encourage you to use the mouse wheel or D-pad up to switch into first person mode as well because we've done a huge amount of work to support both third and true first person camera styles if you need those. If you're confused about what the controls are, try pausing the game and going to the input settings. There you can see what all of the buttons are mapped to and even change the mappings if you don't like them. If you want to play as a metahuman, you can pause the game and open the character creator up. You can try out a basic quest by talking to Seth or just wander around and mess about with the example content. Best of luck and if you have any questions, please reach out in the Discord. So there you go guys, there's kind of the intro cinematic explaining the demo map. And for some reason my video settings are on low, I don't really know why, I'm going to put those on Epic. And let's go ahead and have a look at some of the new combat in the plugin. So not mentioned in the 2.2 video, but we have two-handed melee weapons in, and I just love how this looks in first person. The animator did a fantastic job, and you can go over to our demo mannequin spot here and try the weapon out and yeah works pretty good we support shield and sword configurations and blocking as well for all sort of equip types so the great sword same thing you can block with this amazing and the, the shadows line up with the uh, animations too which is pretty cool dual wielding Bespoke block for dual wielding, so we've really gone to the effort of making all of the animations that are required for all of these different types of combat setups. The bows will be in here, so you'll be able to try the bows out. You can uh, press tab in the demo to open your inventory, and you can equip a bow and some ammo. That's always fun. But most people are going to want to actually fight NPCs, so we've got uh, plenty of spawn combatant stands here, like I can spawn in an archer to fight. I'm always so bad with the bow, man. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. He, he just moves too much. He's too good. I'm going to go nerd mode. Get wrecked. You can play around with swimming. Works in first person. I think people sometimes don't realize just how much work is involved in creating swimming, especially when you're supporting multiple camera perspectives. It definitely gets pretty complicated. And there's kind of some nice things to climb on over here as well. And of course, 
both camera perspectives are supported with climbing as well. That's <laughs> so cool. Really love swimming. There were a couple of bugs with swimming. Uh, swimming was released in 2.1 and we have finally released it for real now. Um, fixed a lot of the bugs and stuff, so swimming is definitely a lot more stable. Oh, you know what? I'm going to quickly show you as well. Um, in the demo, if you want to use a metahuman, you can save into slot one and open the character creator and you can change the character creator. Um, in this demo, we haven't uh, filled some of these sliders out. These are kind of from the original one. Um, metahumans don't really have much control over these. You could hook these up with some work, but we don't for this demo. And I'm just gonna fill out some kind of basic settings in here. And if you confirm changes, you can play as the metahuman. We did remove the female one just due to a, a female metahuman groom issue that we just couldn't fix in time. And once you're a metahuman, you will be able to actually see a uh, facial animation here. You can see if I select. The narrative dialogue supports facial animation. You can actually Access see a facial animation play out. But anyways, let's go ahead and do this quest. I'm gonna do you give me a quest. quest huh? I've got just the thing. Come with me. What's the quest? Demo level seems pleasant enough, but there's actually an evil bandit camp lurking. You can see NPCs will keep up with you. But first, little things like that, a lot of work. My friend. That? And you insist he brought you here? He's a human. He needs a pistol to help us out. He's going to help us take out the bandits. Oh, right. Take this and get going. When we originally made this quest, you actually didn't have any weapons at this point. Um, so right now you would only have the uh, pistol. You can unholster it using T on keyboard or LB on gamepad. If you have more than one... How was that cinematic? New pistol's looking so good. Blended right in from gameplay. Pretty easy with the cinematic tools. Go and get Luca to come with us. I'd look around base for some armor too. You'll need it. So this is an optional quest objective. Narrative supports the concept of having optional quest objectives that you like don't have to complete, but you can complete. And we can take some armor. Obviously the clothing system works really well in narrative. I can see the gloves in first person as well. We're arming an attack on the bandits. Let's go. Seth, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think Luca might wimp out. I would never wimp out. <laughs> Enough. We need to work together if we're going to beat these bandits. Let's go. You'll need some ammo, by the way. Take this. All right, gentlemen. These bandits might put up a bit of a fight. Let's go pay them. The checkpoint reached notification that you're seeing there is actually a new feature that we're shipping as well. Basically, um, at any point, you can essentially quick save the player's game for whatever reason and those checkpoints are the quest doing that calm down luca narrative comes with a full save system out of the box try save your game now into save slot one you'll be able to close and reopen the game and you'll be right back here with us i promise so i'm going to show this off now we're going to save into save slot one which actually we already did to open the character creator and I can either quit to menu or desktop. I'll just quit to the menu in this case. And I'll just show you how flawlessly our save system works here in Narrative Pro. I load back into the map. Amazing, right? And I actually wrote a little hack for this quest where Seth will start saying this dialogue here. Every item, everything you need for a proper open world adventure. We're saving you a lot of hard work. And it is true, we are saving you a lot of hard work. And I think a really cool thing that you can try actually is uh, one of the default features that you can turn off if you didn't want it is you can have the characters uh, try and get on a mount with you. So by default, if a character is following you, they will be able to come with you on your mount. So when I get into this mount, mounts could be a horse, it could be anything, but in this case, it's a vehicle. You can see that the NPCs are smart enough to know that they need to come with. 
And like everything, the driving supports a first-person perspective. Pretty sweet. If you're a game developer watching this, you will know how hard some of this stuff is to do, so very proud of it. And here you're going to see what is kind of known as a seamless cinematic, which is kind of where you transition from gameplay into a cinematic moment. You'll kind of see that the NPCs have to sort of run to the right spot first. Stay back. Or what, bandit scum? You'll die. We don't want any trouble. Yeah, let's calm down. We would destroy you anyway. Take that back right now. You'll have to kill me first. Attack. Luca, say something intimidating. And we're gonna get the pistol out. Luke, all right. Let's push on. This is just the entrance to the main stronghold. Looks like this guy had a uh, Going rifle. Rain, we should use this moment to sneak in and attack. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, Luca. But a hero marches on no matter the danger. Think about poor Marco and his cupcake. They can't just get away with it. There's kind of this big shootout here at the end. Oh, let's try out melee. <laughs> I made melee quite OP in the uh, demo, I have to say. Let's see, we got them all and up. Nice. So kind of funny, like you could actually have a game that had both firearm and melee combat, I guess, because it is all in the same framework here. Let's put a sword and shield on. And it's in here. I need to make sure it's already there, but there are some kind of very minor visual bugs in the beta here. We'll be working on to fix all these, but there's some, some little bits of jank here and there. So let's go ahead and try that out. We're going to open up the map. We'll fast travel back to the market, which is where our quest objective is. And you can see our quest objective on the map too. And our objective is to give Marco this cupcake. It's the human. Marco? You can you take this? It's the least. I think our work is done here. And that's it. And definitely also recommend checking out some of the pretty cool uh, weapon sites that we've written for this demo. Lots to be said about some of the cool logic we've written there as well. If I take uh, an attachment, I can use it on an item like this pistol. I can put the pistol on. You can see this pistol's got a little ACOG on it. Also new in 2.2, .2, you'll be able to change that uh, weapon FOV like I explained. If you go into video, there's actually a ton of video settings now. Um, you can change way more stuff like the gamma and just random little options like that that you weren't previously able to change. Let's say I want to go for a real elite FOV here. I can turn that way up. And little options like that, you would be surprised. They take, they take a while to make that sort of thing. Oh, another thing to be said, if you want to wait in the demo, press V and you can wait until different times. And, um, I suppose I should show the quest journal as well. This is kind of a cool little menu where you can view the state of quests and stuff like that. And these menus, you do not have to use any of this. You can completely swap all of this out. And we're going to be releasing a UI video really soon that shows you how to like completely redo the UI. Um, you can sort of use what we have, modify what we have, or just scrap all of this and just run completely fresh UI that's your own. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope everyone enjoys... 2.2 and has a great new year's break and if you have any questions or you want to report any bugs or issues or anything like that if you need any support we are always around in the narrative pro discord channel to help so let us know your thoughts